Hello and welcome to Breakeven by Breakfast on the Accounting Channel with me, Mark Sweetman. On this show, we interview successful startup founders and try to get an insight into their entrepreneurial journey. My guest today is Sinead Crowther. She is the founder and CEO of a company called Soothing Solutions. Soothing Solutions manufactures products to promote comfort to young children when they are unwell. The company focuses on product innovation and offers clever concepts to help solve common problems that parents face when their young children become ill and are seeking to give them relief. Okay, so I formed Soothing Solutions in 2017. I'm a pharmaceutical technician. I started in pharmacy when I was 15 and transitioned here in school. So a long time ago, over 25 plus years ago. Um, and when I started at 15, lots of mothers used to come in, predominantly mothers, looking for um, the equivalent of a throat lozenge, but for very young children under six. And at that time, there was like these big barley sticks and you fit into them and they were like shards glass. <laughs> Um, and then fast forward 26, 27 years later, there's really still nothing in that, you know, to solve that problem. Uh, you can get syrups and sprays now, but they're for children three years and older. And they're just very difficult for the mams to administer because they're messy and sticky and you have to kind of hold the child down, which isn't very pleasant. So um, I just decided after the 25, 26 years in pharmacy that maybe it's something I could do myself. I just, um, my personal circumstances, my little guy had an accident and I needed to take a year off to take care of him. And I just got up one morning and Googled, how do you make a product from scratch? Literally, that's how I started. And it brought me to a link to this um, this website called New Frontiers. Do you have an idea or concept you'd like to flesh out? And I filled in the form and then started on New Frontiers. So I really naively thought it was easy to do what I wanted to do. So how I want to deliver this solution is unique. And very complex so it's been a bit of a journey of r d and trial and error over the last three years and i suppose the reason why we finally made progress is we finally got in front of the people who can do it so finding that person the right person because you do waste a lot of time and money with people who think they can do it and then they realize it might be a bit more complicated and they can't and you've wasted time money and the years fly by so getting in front of the right person early on would be really important every expert I went to in this area kept telling me what I wanted to achieve couldn't be done. So for me, it was just keeping um, true to the vision that I have for the product and just keep doing that research and following up with different people and growing a network in this sector to see, can I overcome the technical challenges? So the first thing I did then was, well, not the first thing, obviously it took a while to get here, but I used innovation vouchers and got into a university where they exchanged their knowledge and Enterprise Ireland covered the cost with the innovation voucher. So that was the first step in, in solving the problem. So I really encourage anyone to use those channels. So how I financed the business was, so I'm actually a single parent and I had no money and loads of children and a mortgage. <laughs> so what I did was I got onto New Frontiers and then I got into New Frontiers phase two and they give you 15,000 feasibility grant. So what I did was I invested that into the research and to try and build a prototype and to cover my own expenses for that six months to really dip into this and, and find out what I could do. And then from there, um, I, I went back to work part time because I needed I was really invested in this now. I knew I was on to something. So I went back to work two days a week and then I went to my local enterprise office because I had done a body of work and I had something real to present. And then they gave me a primer grant, which... I kind of couldn't believe it was the fourth. I know New Frontiers was really supportive, but they're to support the concept. This was to build a prototype. So the fact that the local enterprise office were investing then in Prima Grant and they really boosted my confidence. And then with the Prima Grant, I went to my local bank and said, hey, the Leo is back in me. Could you match this for me? And I'll get my prototype built and that will get me to this phase. And they also said yes. So I couldn't believe it. And then that got me to through another 12 months. And then I applied for a competitive star fund because then I had a prototype built and I got competitive star fund. So here I am now. That was 12 months ago. And now we're raising um, funding, seed funding to um, star production. So it's been a journey, but you do have to be relentless, fill in every form, go to every meeting and get good at filling in forms. If it's not your specialty, make it your specialty because it's money that you don't have to pay back by the bank loan, obviously. All these funds are there to support the startup bit.
the most challenging thing is um, we require, you know, a huge amount of capex, I suppose. Well, huge, you know, compared to just hand making some food in your house and, and, and sending it that way. We need to set up a production facility that will equip the production of products for young children, you know, where products are for children age two and upwards. And there's a certain level of compliance you need to have. And, and in order for us to do that, we need significant investment. So it's a big risk, I guess, for someone to take on. But we have a very strong sales pipeline in place because we're going to sell our products in pharmacies and health stores. And there's huge interest in our products because there's nothing really servicing this problem in this in this real way. So I suppose the CapEx requirements is a big challenge right now. So, so like I said, on New Frontiers, I conducted massive research and when you're supported by Enterprise Ireland, you have access to their, um, it's called the Enterprise Ireland uh, Library. So it's full of research and documents that you can access to get all this information. So my target market is women in their mid thirties because women now are choosing to be educated and they travel the world and have successful careers before they decide to settle down and have their children. It's not like 50 years ago where it was just the given you to have a family. And as a result, they want products, they have real high expectations from products and they're prepared to spend money on products that will soothe their children and most importantly, cause no harm. So our target market is a woman in her mid thirties. She's taken time out from her career and she generally has two or three children in quick succession. And um, so that's their market. We want to appeal to her and obviously their partners and other caregivers, grandparents and um, child minders and things like that. But ultimately she's the one who's up with their child at night when they're not well. And she knows the child isn't sick enough to go to a doctor yet. And they usually head straight to their pharmacy for some advice because the pharmacy, the pharmacist was voted second most trusted professional in the community last year. So they're very important um, pillars of the community and people go there. Oh, well, this is the, this is the vision now and, and the uh, ambition. Well, we're hoping to complete our manufacturing trials now. It was quite complicated with, with lockdown and COVID kind of really made it longer, a <laughs> longer journey for that. So we're hoping to obviously secure this investment now and set up our facility and be producing in February or March. It will, first 12 months, we hope to capture the Irish market and then within 18 months start exporting across UK and Europe. And in five years, we hope to be exporting the products to the US huge market over there for them as well. So successful and um, employing a lot of people and be exporting all over the world really we'd be ready to exit we hope by year seven and that's the plan it's not a legacy build this build business for us we want to build this brand and possibly sell the device to med tech medical or pharmaceutical companies to add medications to and possibly change the way children receive meds